The Alpha Jet was the product of the need for European Air Forces in the mid-1960s to replace some older first-generation jet trainers from the early 1950s. France and West Germany came to an agreement to jointly develop a subsonic trainer aircraft, but the German requirements changed a bit, which led to a divergence of the two early models of the Alpha Jet. The Germans refocused the plane into a dedicated light attack role with a secondary capability as a trainer, while the French were more focused on a new trainer with a secondary capability for light attack. After a few designs were weeded out, the final decision was made in 1970, with official production contracts being signed in 1972. The first round of prototypes, built in both Germany and France, flew in 1974, and the work actually proceeded fairly easily, with deliveries of regular production models beginning in 1978. In West German service, the Alpha Jet replaced the Fiat G91 in a close air support role, and while the German Air Force was generally satisfied with the plane, its combat system found itself quickly outdated in light of the rapid technological advances being made in the early 1980s. An upgrade package modernized some of its systems and extended the jet's lifespan into the 1990s, but by 1998, the last German Alpha Jets had been phased out and sold off to export customers. In French service, the Alpha Jet replaced several models of obsolete trainers, and the plane lasted a bit longer, with the final French Alphas finally being retired in 2023, as it was replaced by the Pilatus PC-21. In export service, the Alpha Jet also flew out for almost a dozen customers, and it still flies for a few of them. Nigeria has used it extensively in a close air support role in several conflicts, and the plane is currently in active combat service, flying combat sorties against Boko Haram rebels. What we're looking at in the game is the Alpha Jet A, a rank 6 strike aircraft in the German tech tree with a battle rating of 8.7. There's also a French version, which is extremely similar, just a few small differences in weapon loads. So about 99% of this review applies to that one as well. The Alpha Jet gets a ballistics computer that includes a CCIP for all of its weapons and a CCRP for the bombs. It doesn't have a radar warning receiver, a radar set, or any other sensors, but the German Alpha Jet does get a small supply of countermeasures while the French version doesn't. France suffers, I guess. The plane is unarmed by default, and all of its weapons are carried externally, including a centerline gun pod. Given that the centerline pylon isn't shared with any other options, there really isn't any reason not to take the gun pod, as the performance impact is fairly small and you're never going to notice the difference out in actual gameplay. For conventional ordnance, the Alpha Jet has four wing pylons that can load up bombs, incendiary bombs, fuel tanks, and rocket pods. The French version can also take an extra pair of gun pods under the wings. There are no guided air-to-ground weapons or air-to-air -air missiles for the Alpha Jet. The flight performance of the Alpha Jet brings some mixed blessings. As always with planes in this category, the performance you get is going to depend greatly on the weapon load you're carrying. With a full load of external weapons, the jet is awfully slow accelerates poorly, and the rate of climb is pretty average, with the agility being mediocre at best. However, without a weapon load, or with only the gun pod, things get a bit better. It's still not especially fast, and it feels underpowered even in a clean configuration, but the agility, rate of climb, and turn performance are all significantly better. If you fly this out with just the gun pod, it's got similar performance to some single-engine gunslinger jets, but again, when you load it out, maybe reduce the expectations a bit. Given its lack of afterburners and its fairly average engine power, you're usually going to lose a lot of speed in vertical maneuvers, so that's something to keep in mind if you get sucked into a twisting dogfight or whatever. The plane gets an air brake, which helps managing speed in a diving attack, which can actually be pretty important. The wings don't rip off in a dive until well over 1100 kilometers an hour, but the plane does actually have some noticeable problems snapping its wings off in high-speed, high-G maneuvers, so you gotta be careful on the pull-up if you're diving in for bombs or a rocket pass. If you find yourself running into this, just unequip the hydraulic boosters and it'll basically fix the problem. 
In general though, the Alpha Jet is a very stable weapons platform, which makes lining up bomb drops or rocket passes pretty easy for a jet like this. Taking the Alpha Jet into air battles is probably going to feel a bit underwhelming. The plane has a very light bomb load, and only the incendiaries are going to be able to take out a base in one pass, with the regular bombs being more useful if you have to go after AI ground targets. As a bomber, this won't be a big score getter, but it's still got a niche role as a light attacker that can defend itself in a dogfight. Kind of. Using the Alpha Jet for air combat is actually pretty difficult. Its agility is passable after you've dumped the ordnance, but the cannon can be a little difficult to get kills with. It's laser accurate, with a very low spread, and it's only one gun with 150 rounds of ammo. So unless you're an S-tier sniper that can reliably get pilot hits or engine criticals from 800 meters with split-second five-round bursts or something, actually taking down air targets may prove difficult as compared to getting hits and assists. In my experience with the Alpha Jet, getting hits on aircraft isn't too hard, but getting the actual kills was more involved than I expected. It's a little easier with the French version, which can take extra gun pods, but at least with the German one I'm focusing on here, air combat is gonna take practice. Now, close air support is where this jet really shines. It's got regular dumb bombs, snake eye bombs, and rocket pods, so whatever attack profile you're most comfortable with is totally viable. The only real catch is that the bombs all have a fairly small blast radius. I found that using the bombs gave me a lot of hit credit, but in order to actually get kills, my drops needed to be crazy accurate and almost get a direct hit on the target. Using the rocket pods is fairly typical, and you get a full ballistics computer, so lining up the shots isn't too hard. But just remember that the rockets themselves aren't super accurate beyond around 1.5 kilometers. Notably, the German Alpha Jet gets countermeasures, which is a huge help at this BR range, and it dramatically increases the survivability of this jet in basically all situations. Visually, the Alpha Jet's a fun-looking little plane, and both the German and French versions get some nice paint jobs. Overall, really good marks for visuals on the Alpha. Landing is fairly basic. I mean, it's literally a jet trainer, after all. You can drop gear and landing flaps a bit under 400 kilometers an hour, and the Alpha Jet is very stable on final approach. No drag shoot, though, so lock up the brakes. The cockpit has great visual detail. The instruments are easy to find, and it's got a useful heads-up display. But the rearward visibility is pretty bad. Overall, it's a fairly average cockpit for a light strike jet. To close out on the Alpha Jet A. This plane has a full ballistics computer at a fairly low BR. It's very stable, making it an easy weapons platform. And the A version gets countermeasures. However, its air-to-air -air firepower is very limited. The small size of its individual bombs requires direct hits to pop ground targets. And it's slightly underpowered. The final verdict on the Alpha Jet A is that this plane's features make it highly competitive for close air support and light ground attack, but outside of that niche, it's probably going to struggle a bit in the long run. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this review, check out this other one!